We're going to visit an old friend, the Razor Rock Mission Razor. It has a chrome plated brass handle, the Mission Razor head, three piece safety razor. We're going to shave with it coming up next. Hi YouTubers and what shavers everywhere, it's Mark with Jarstune.com. I'm back with another video. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. Great to see you again. Really do appreciate you tuning in. Hey, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. We're going to have a shave with an old friend. Here it is right here. The Razor Rock Mission Three Piece Safety Razor. I got this early on in my uh, wet shaving journey about 2016. This was a terrific, terrific razor. It still is a terrific razor. This particular model is no longer available because it comes with a chrome plated brass handle. The Mission Razors that are available now come with stainless steel handles. You can pick from a variety of them on the Italian Barber website. Uh, and it has this what they call their mission razor. Their mission was to deliver a low cost yet highly uh, efficient razor uh, to the wet shaving community. So the razor head is called the mission razor head and it is a um, uh, chromed zinc alloy razor head. The handle on this one is a chromed brass handle, although it's now available in stainless steel, and I also have a stainless steel Mission Razor. However, uh, the Mission Razor head came off of that stainless steel handle, and I replaced it with the Razor Rock Game Changer uh, Razor head. Yeah, yeah, so now I have a fully stainless Game Changer Razor. Uh, so yeah, that's why that, that Mission Razor head does not have a handle yet, so I'm going to try to find a replacement handle for that particular razor head. The Mission Razor, the Mission Razor also came back about 2016-2017 uh, in a short handled version. They called it the Heavy Duty. I have one of those, stainless steel handle. Again, the zinc alloy chrome plated Mission Razor head. Very much like an Edwin Jagger razor head. Uh, the efficiency is higher than the Edwin Jagger. So uh, for me, the uh, Mission Razor with one day's worth of beard growth, which is what I have, is usually a two pass shave. With about two days worth of growth, uh, I'll need three passes. Paired up with a really nice coated blade for me, like a platinum coated blade or a chromium coated blade, Teflon coated blade, something like that, I get a really nice smooth shave. It is mid-level aggressive. So it is a little higher in aggression than, say, a Mula or an Edwin Jagger or even a Parker razor. Just a little bit, but it's kind of in that grouping there. Your mileage may vary. If you have a beard that's a little more demanding and let's say the Edwin Jagger isn't doing the job for you, this might, this might, this might really, really serve you well. Anyhow, we're going to have a shave with it uh, for old time's sake. Let's open this up right now. As you can see, it's a three-piece razor. And... Um, we're going to use the Wisimet Super Iridium razor blades. Yeah, love, love, love these razor blades. I think this is going to pair up well with this uh, razor. Again, as I say, uh, some of the plated or coated uh, blades out there work very, very well. The Vikings Blade Mild razor blades are very nice in this, uh, this particular razor. Here it is right here. Let's just turn that upside down. That's upside down. Let's turn it like that so you can see it. Okay, there it is right there. We're going to put that in there like that. And we're going to take the base plate and set that on there. No O-ring for this. Okay, and we're just going to make sure that, yeah, that blade alignment looks very, very nice right there. You can see that. Okay, and we're just going to go ahead and just clamp that down like that. Yeah, blade alignment is very, very nice. Alignment and balance, very, very good. Uh, the end tabs, you can feel them just a little bit. Uh, in the past with this particular one, every once in a while I'll look at it and I'll think, well, that might not be in balance, so I'll loosen the handle. I'll grab the end tabs here and I'm able to give it a little bit of nudge. I don't know if it's needed or if it's an optical illusion. This time around, boy, that is really spot on. 
Uh, this retails for about $20 at italianbarber.com with a stainless steel handle. That's really, really nice. Again, this one is the chrome-plated brass handle version, which is no longer available, but uh, boy, I'm going to shave with it because uh, 2016, right when I started the traditional wet shave, yeah, it came in really, really handy. Uh, we're going to be using uh, the Cube 2.0. Going to kick it off with this. Uh, Formula CK6, mentholated, boy, activated charcoal. This is terrific. Absolutely love using the Cube as a pre-shave. We're going to be using uh, the Sudsy Soapery All Natural Super Cream Triple Butter Shave Soap Bay and Citrus. This is a marvelous, marvelous shave soap. Wonderful, wonderful scent. Love this. Great, great slickness. And uh, really appreciate that. And if you've not tried their Super Cream Triple Butter Shave Soaps, give them a try. I really, really enjoy their they're super cream triple butter <laughs> shave soaps. They're very, very good. They make a wonderful lather. And this Bay and Citrus, wow, what a wonderful Bay Rum scent. Absolutely fantastic. We're going to finish it off with uh, the Phoenix Shaving Aloe Block, the no-slip grip, and the dry dock system. Absolutely love, love using this Aloe Block. Love the surface area on it. Love the no-slip grip. Does a great, great job. I'm going to finish it off with Phoenix Shaving's Coconut Bay with Lime. This goes perfectly, 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 perfectly uh, as a follow-up to the Bay and Citrus. Really, really nice. So if you have this one and get this soap, they'll pair up very, very nicely, in my opinion. Like it a lot. And for the balm upstairs, we're kind of mixing everything up, mixing and matching, that sort of thing. We're going to use Sterling's Bay Rum Aftershave Balm. This is a good traditional Bay Rum. We're going to use it for upstairs. So everything will be in the Bay Rum fan family with... Some little nuances here and here and there, but nothing is going to conflict or clash, anything like that. I'm going to be using my Amber Aerolite shaving brush. Love the color scheme of it. When I look at that shaving brush, I think of Bay Rum. I don't know what I don't know if, if the, the color has to do with maybe the sailing ships, <laughs> you know, and the, the casks and barrels of of uh, Bay Rum uh, or that or rum on board, whatever. I just I just. The color of the brush just reminds me of Bay Rum, so we're going to use that. I also have my brush scuttle here set aside uh, to keep the lather and the knot nice and warm. Absolutely love the brush scuttle. Uh, I love doing a face lathering, and this has been probably one of the neatest, most favorite things in the shaving den, the brush scuttle. Really, really do like using it. So that kind of wraps it up here. We're all set here. So you know what? I got some hot water sitting on top of the uh, Bay and Citrus soap here, so we're just going to take that. Put that in a sink like that. Let's uh, wet the face. Let's get to the shave. Okay, Cube 2.0 right here. We're going to use this to kind of clean the face, degrease it, that sort of thing. Okay, just like that. That's more than enough. Work that in, then we'll rinse it off, and we'll reapply as kind of a pre-shave base. And then we'll do the face lather on top of that. Okay, let's rinse. Okay. That's great. And again, we're just going to apply the cube like that. I'm going to work that in just as we did before, but we're going to let that sit on the face. Just kind of sit on the skin and let that do its thing. <laughs> Okay, rinse the hands a little bit. Got a little hand towel here. Take care of that. All right, here's my brush right here, my amber air light. Gonna give it a little ring. All right, here we go. Gonna load this brush up. Okay, this shave soap from Sudsy Soapery loads very nicely, very quickly on the brush, um, depending on how much water you leave in the brush. 
I may have left in a little more than I wanted to. We'll see. We'll see. That's okay. It'll work its way through. And this is a wonderful Bay Rum scent. It just really fills the shade down. This is the kind of soap where the uh, when you take the lid off and it's dry, it's a nice scent. But after you add the water, it really comes alive. Really like that a lot. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Look, 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 look. Again, I like to get these little peaks there. I like to see that that lather build up around the in, inside of the of the container there. Yeah, that looks like that's good. Oh, yeah. I may have to add a little bit of water to this. We'll see. Great shave brush choice. No doubt about it. Yeah, let's get a little bit of water in there. Just dip the tips in there. Great moisturizing qualities from this shave soap. Uh, really does a nice job in softening up the whisker, getting it ready and prepped for uh, the razor and the blade. Oh, yeah. Wow. Boom! Lather! Look at that! that <laughs> that's, that is marvelous. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. A nice, beautiful, thick carpet of lather. That's great. This is going into the brush scuttle. And what we're going to do is we're going to drain the sink because we are going to go ahead and do a cold razor shave. We're going to run this under some cold, cold water. Now, got to <laughs> going to have to wipe my hands off because this soap is slick. And I had a little bit on the handle there, and I want to get a good firm grip. The knurling on this is nice, although I think the knurling on the stainless steel handle is a little deeper than the, uh, the knurling on this brass handle razor. Uh, or maybe six and one half a dozen another. Right now, that's how it feels to me. Uh, it doesn't feel as deep as a stainless steel handle, but it is a nice grip. Nice traditional knurling on there. All right, let's run this under some cold, cold, cold water. <laughs> All right, and you know what? I'm gonna put some cold water in the sink. Well, I'm gonna run this under the, the uh, sink a little more. And I'm going to leave some cold water in the sink so I can just give that razor a little swirl to get that lather off of there. So I'm not always turning on the tap and uh, kind of messing up the soundtrack here. Alrighty. Okay, so there we go. Under some nice cold water. Alright, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Oh yeah, this pairs up very, very nicely. This blade and this razor, fantastic. That's marvelous, marvelous. Boy, oh boy. No tugging. No pulling at all. Just a wonderful, wonderful shave. Again, one day's worth of beard growth. Boy, that is, that is really, really very, very smooth. No wonder I bought three of these. Wow.
does a nice job of getting up underneath the nostrils and getting those little bits. I'll get the remainder, what little there might be, on the east to west pass. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a warm water rinse. That's pass number one done. Let's rinse. All right. Just going to flip it over to the cold water side and fill that with a little more cold water. Okay, very good. Here we go. Ooh, that is so nice and warm. Boy, that's marvelous. I think the Phoenix Shaving Cube really helps just about, no, not just about, every shave soap benefits from CK6 Cube. Uh, it's just a fantastic pre-shave soap, and uh, it really will kick up the performance of any shave soap uh, that you use. At least that's been my experience. It really does help uh, a lot of shave soaps across the board. It really kind of kicks up their lathering performance. Now this Sudsy Soap Rig is a very, very good lathering shave soap. It's big and citrus, but you know what? CK6 definitely, definitely helps. And you know what? Why not, you know? And plus I got the menthol kick there too, which is great. Alrighty, back into the brush scuttle. Okay, so we're going to run this under the tap here. And uh, cool that down again. And yeah, the water in the sink is good and cold too. Alright, so here we go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. And you know, I forgot to gauge. I forgot to tell you how the Result was after the first pass. Really forgot to check it. Um, I think it was on par. Well, I did. I did feel it, um, but it's. Uh, I forgot to tell you. Uh, it's on par with a lot of other shaves. You know, right there in the socially acceptable range. Around the chin, very nicely. Boy, that's nice. That is really, really nice. And I'm just swirling the razor here in the cold water that's in the sink here. Boy, that's nice. I mean, that really is a nice, efficient close shave. Very nice. Boy, that's that's terrific. Okay, second pass done. I'm going to drain the sink a little bit. We're going to rinse with warm water. Let's see where we're at. Just a couple of splashes, Jerry, just to see where we're at. We're done. <laughs> we're done. I told you, this is a two-pass shave for me with this razor and the right blade. And the Super Iridium blade is a nice blade for this razor. So we're gonna do my two final rinses, one warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. Very nice. Wow, is that a close shave. Two passes, that's it. Oh my gosh. That's mar that is marvelous. What a very, very smooth performance. That's terrific. All right, I'm just letting the cold water run a little more. Okay, it's cold. Here's the cold water rinse. That's terrific. That really is. A little kick from the menthol, the cube. The menthol and the cube, yeah. 
clean fresh towel waiting for me right here. Oh boy, that's a that is a nice nice shave. Like I said, it's no wonder I bought three of these. I had a shave with this razor uh, this past weekend. Had two days worth of beard growth. Three passes and it was BBS. Really, really nice. Just a terrific, terrific shave. Nice. Very nice. Very, just a really nice... Nice result, really nice result. I think, to be honest with you, for my own enjoyment, I probably could have done a third pass, but two passes, I'm done. I think I'm on my way to a BBS, but as I say, don't try to find the BBS. Let the BBS find you. Here's my Allen block. We're gonna run this under some cold water here and see what kind of feedback we get. Okay, here we go. No stinging, no zinging at all. Smooth as ice. That's marvelous. That's, that's really nice. No stinging, no zinging. Some nice bracing. Love using the Allen Block, antiseptic qualities, astringent qualities, really, really terrific. The dry dock system, this is a great, great idea from Douglas at Phoenix Shaving. It's vented like this, like a little sponge with a little area cut out here uh, where the Allen Block sits. And because it's vented, where the Allen Block sits, and because it's vented, you can just set it in there and let the air in the room do the rest of the work. So we're gonna set it right there. Yeah, that's terrific. Let's take a look at the brush show you what this shave soap looked like. Look at this, look at this. My gosh, Sunsy Soapery and CK6, how about that? Yeah, this was terrific, terrific, terrific shave soap. Beautiful slickness, uh, provides wonderful glide, uh, great, great bag and citrus scent. Really, really nice. And uh, like I say, the um, Coconut Bay with Lime, really pairs up with it well, in my opinion. And I've had this, I've used this for uh, several shaves, and it's this with the uh, Bay and Citrus, and it really does pair up nicely. So, you know, if you have both, if you have this, you don't have to run out and try to find, you know, uh, try to figure out what will go with this. This goes with it just fine. I would think any Bay Rum after shave will go with it though. Uh, but this coconut with lime has got that extra little special something that pairs up nicely. Must be the citrus quality of both of them. Yeah, and it's got a ooh, <laughs> got a nice kick. Yeah, this has got a nice kick. Man, oh man, love Phoenix shaving stuff. Love it, and it's nice to mix and match. Uh, some of these different uh, products from these different artisans. And uh, here we've got um, Sterling right here with the Bay Rum Aftershave Balm. Now with this, you don't need a lot, okay? Probably about that much is all you're gonna need. Uh, maybe even less if you're using it on your face. I'm using it for my head and that's all I need. Okay, so here we go. And that's just about the right amount there. I'm going to need a head shave. So I'm going to have to do that sometime soon. Great shave. Wow. You know, we've had this topic on the Monday morning mailbag, revisiting old friends. And it got me to thinking, what do I have that I haven't used in quite some time? And it was this razor right here. It was the, uh, the Mission Razor from Razor Rock. And again, like I said, I guess I could call this the original Mission Razor from Razor Rock because it came with the chrome-plated brass handle. 
It's no longer available this way. It's all stainless steel handles. When I first used this, I found I found it to be a little more aggressive uh, for my taste at the time. Now, since then, you know, my technique has improved. I've tried a wide variety of razor blades. I've tried a lot of different razors at different aggression levels. And yes, while I prefer milder razors, I would say this does fall into that category, but just with a little more growl. And that's going to be dependent upon the blade you use. So for me, I will always use a coated blade with this razor. I won't use anything like a stainless steel uh, uh, blade or a feather blade or something that has a lot of edge to it. Uh, no, I want to smooth it out a little bit. And boy, the Super Iridium was a really, really good choice for this. I got a really nice shave. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Really, really, really terrific, terrific shave. And you know, the Gillette Platinum Swedes, I got these from Beth Jones. Thank you again very much, Beth. These will pair up really, really well with the Razor Rock Mission, as well these right here, the Platinum Strangelet from, uh, here they are, like this, from Phoenix Shaving. These also uh, will uh, pair up well because these are all platinum coated blades. That's what I like. And, um, you know, it smooths out the shave, kind of softens that edge, so to speak, gives a little bit of a roundness, I guess, if that makes sense. At least that's the way I describe it. So, uh, yeah, I think at times the razor head, depending on the blade, can be just a little more aggressive than, say, an Edwin Jagger or a Mula or even a Parker. Uh, but uh, I don't think the differences are that dramatic or that extreme. Now, I've also said that if you're a beginner wet shaver, you probably don't want to start with the Mission Razor. Now, obviously, your miles may vary. If you have a, a beard and skin type that is more demanding, you probably might use this and say, hey, this is a mild razor. I love it. And take to it like a duck to water. But for me, whose skin is a little bit on the sensitive side, uh, yeah, I had to kind of warm up to a little bit. Definitely did have to hone my technique, which I've done over the years. Again, it's pretty much a two-pass razor for me, although this time around, I probably could have done a third pass just for the enjoyment of it. But it really does a great job in giving you a really close, close, efficient, efficient shave. Really, really terrific. I mean, again, I think I'm on my way to BBS with this. So check it out. The Mission Razor from Razor Rock. It's available on italianbarber.com. They have a variety of stainless steel um, handles that you can uh, pair up with the Mission Razor Head. A lot of folks describe it as mild. I think it could be described as mild depending on the blade you use. For the most part, I think it's a little more aggressive than mild. Probably just maybe a half a notch, maybe even a full notch above neutral. So if neutral is five, this might be five and a half, maybe six. You know, your miles may vary, but for me, it just did a wonderful, wonderful job. Gave me a wonderful, smooth, smooth shave. And it does have a little more growl, as viewer Jason O'Brien so aptly coined, has a little more growl than uh, an Edwin Jagger DE89, no doubt about it. So if you're looking for something that has a little more efficiency, maybe slightly more aggressive than the DE89, check out the Mission Razor from Razor Rock at italianbarber.com. It's 20 bucks, really, really great deal. And if you're a beginner wet shaver and you wanna try this, you know what, buy it, set it aside, work with some milder razors, hone your technique a little bit, and after say three months, six months, whatever it is, wherever you feel comfortable, then pull this out and give it a try and uh, see how it works for you. I, uh, I really do enjoy this. Terrific, terrific razor, very efficient. Uh, it can be mild at times, depending on the blade. It can be a little more aggressive, depending on the blade, but really just delivers a close, smooth, efficient shave. Really, really like it a lot. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell about the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Check out the Executive Shaving Company, use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgeting.com slash blog. For my comic strip, George, other cartoons, other videos like this, I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Check out Vikingsblade.com for some great shaving gear. For all things Barbas, check out Big Dude Barbas, I'll have a link below. 
Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerini, where you'll find all the products I review in this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.